So the wife and I went on a holiday to Bournemouth for three days. And I just picked up this Godox AD200 for the Nikon. And I really wanted to try it out. I haven't shot flash strobe in three years. And I was using a completely different system back then. So I wanted to see how it was with this Nikon. I did have some issues um, with these with the modern Nikon's. Um, as soon as you activate the uh, transceiver on top of the flash, it instantly brightens up what you're seeing through the lens, so it throws out the metering. And I didn't realise, and I didn't have the histogram on, so I definitely use histograms on this camera maybe all Nikons I don't know um, and we just had some fun you know it was just a quiet evening in the hotel room luckily my wife is happy to model for me mostly <laughs> mostly and um, yeah we just had some fun um, so I'm simply just using the, the one off-camera flash, using the practicals in the shot. Um, I wouldn't use this modifier again. I would just use the that the comes with a reflector dish, and I think that would be better. This modifier, I'm not so impressed at the minute. Um, I'm sure it's got its uses, but at the minute I think I would just go for the reflector. Um, and put more power through it. I was only shooting this flash at one one hundred and twenty eighth power. Definitely should have gone up at least one stop, maybe more. Um, but I said that's my mistake. Nothing to do with the strobe or Nikon or anything like that. So I was just trying to get some like dramatic-ish photos or something a little bit cleaner um, less natural looking if anybody's shot people before they they will know that at the beginning of a shoot it takes 10 20 minutes just to relax people up get them used to having a strobe go off having someone in the camera in the face you know a small amount of direction I don't really have to direct Ali and my wife so but it takes uh, takes some time to, to get people in the in more of a zone for it so as you'll if you watch further on and further through there'll be more photos and as more time passes you get more keepers I find you know you you just get more keepers people are more relaxed they start to move around a bit and uh, yeah if you watch further into the video you'll see more photos come up on the screen where I've got more keepers which I felt were good enough at least to show on the video so this next shot there is where I've included the flash in the shot so I had that flash 95% of the time at almost a 90 degree angle to where I was it was a bit off, but uh, because Ali had the practical above her head and I had another practical just behind the cushions, I was just trying to bring the light into the shadows on the shadow side of her. Um, in hindsight, I would have had another strobe next to me, which would have been another 90. Um, a lot of people like shooting the strobes at a 45 degree angle but I, 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 I prefer a more dramatic angle um, to get some interesting shadows and but also not leave the person in complete darkness in hindsight I think I should have got Ali to sit on the floor for a few of the shots with her arms or head on the couch seat itself I think that would have been quite a good shot you would have noticed in 
the photos coming up that I changed the editing style I wanted to get even more dramatic so I really pushed the files to get me that look you can also get that look by changing the white balance in camera and the, the flash is you know fairly white and if you change the Kelvin in the camera you can get a very similar look but with these modern files you can do a lot in post what you can't do in post is if the flash is too weak like mine was it's putting more light onto the subject can look very fake I find I think if you're going to use the strobe you spend some time getting the power right because it's going to save you so much time in post uh, yeah once again that was my mistake um, should have known better really but we were just you know it was a evening on holiday and just messing around so that's what we did and we had a laugh so I was shooting with the Nikon ZF and the 40mm f2 now I did have a haze filter whatever you want to call them there's a, a 1 8 strength I don't like it I've never really used them I've seen a lot of chatter there about them um, no I'm not going to be using them again even because it blows the highlights and gives you that subtle edge it's not film like um, it destroys the quality of the raw file um, in my opinion you know if you want to bloom the edges you do it in post and then you won't destroy the rest of the photo um, I'm not having any luck using those filters whatsoever so I'm going to give that a rest and hey if the, if the highlights aren't bloomed out as much you know what's the big deal definitely going to be doing more strobe work though it's been too long I got really excited when it arrived just because I haven't shot it in ages um, it's just not been required for work at all so but really fun really fun just running around being silly pointing in the strobe at somebody and just getting some dramatic fun images some memories it's, uh, it's good that what you can do just with one strobe and a hotel room and have a laugh obviously being very new to YouTube I don't know how long people want videos to be so if anybody wants to like write down in the comments what's the favorite type of length of a video is it five minutes ten minutes fifteen you know give me an idea of of what you want to see how you want to see it I'm still very new of I'm still very new being on camera recording and you know the whole nine yards but I'm trying and giving it a go and, and see how we go I'm definitely much happier with the photos that I got at the end of the shoot as you know regards to the beginning I think that's always the way you know I always think the first 20 minutes are throwaway shots and then you start cracking on and getting into it I'm really happy with the shots that are appearing at the end of the shoot I think this shows that you know we, we spent half an hour doing this and what you can get in 30 minutes you know just keep moving around taking different angles get on your knees stand on the couch stand on the chairs just have fun with it you know i say you know too much try different angles as many angles as you can as many seating positions standing positions just experiment and literally just have fun with it there's always going to be a shot you forgot to do or look back and went oh I wish I had taken that shot but that's always the way and it'll never change it doesn't matter if it's a fun free shoot or a paid shoot it'll always 
forget something. Thanks. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.